after you load the trial version of AutoCAD 2013, you might want to try out the new section and detail view features. Let me show you how easy it is to work with them. Let's say I want to create a section view from this base view that I have on the drawing. It's really just as simple as selecting that view, and here you'll see the section view options. There's full and half and offset and aligned, etc. We're going to go ahead and do a full section view. Keep it simple. And then it's really just a matter of selecting where you want that section line to go. I'm going to turn my ortho on to make sure it's nice and straight. Then pick your location for the section view. And a final enter will place a label on it. Now that's pretty simple. You can easily make changes to your section view. Maybe I want to change the scale factor. The previous scale factor was an eighth of an inch equals a foot. Let's change that to a sixteenth of an inch equals a foot. And you will see that the label updates accordingly. I'm going to actually put that back. So what else can I do to my section view? Let me go ahead and select it again and say edit view. There's a variety of options in here. I'm actually going to say I no longer want to see the hatching. Now let's change the identifier to the letter C. It's very easy to make changes. Now you'll see that the hatching is gone. You can also make changes to the section line. I can come in here and say I want to flip the direction. When I do that, you'll see that it will change the direction of the section view. Maybe I want to move the section line. You can do that as well. I can even change the angle of the section line. Now that certainly isn't what I want, but I think you get the point. On the Layout tab, you'll find that you also have access to the Section View Style Manager. Here you'll find all kinds of options that allow you to control the results of your section view. You'll find that you can set your section views up so they match your standards exactly. So that's how easy it is to do section views. Let's take a look at detail views. I'm actually going to do a detail view of a section view. All you have to do is select the view that you want to add a detail to, choose whether you want circular or rectangular, and then simply select, in this case, because I picked circular, the center of the detail. The further you pull it out, of course, the bigger the detail will be. And the last thing that you have to do is just decide where you want your detail view to display. And once again, similar to the section view, it will automatically label it and display the scale factor. And also, just like the section view, it's easy enough to change the scale factor. Maybe I really wish it was an eighth of an inch equals a foot. So what else can we do with our detail view? Let's select edit view, and you'll see there are quite a variety of options for detail views. Maybe I prefer it to be rectangular. Maybe I want it to be smooth with the border. <laughs> smooth with the connection line. It connects up to the detail view, or how about jagged? You can once again change that label. Let's change that to a detail. We'll just pick D. And I can also turn off the hatching as well. So let's go back to smooth and circular and see if we can modify the detail after the fact. Of course you can. All you have to do is select it and move it to its desired location. You'll see that the detail automatically updates depending on where you move it to. It's really just that simple. And of course, you can also control the size of the detail. Now, just as there was a section view style manager, there's also a detail view style manager with all types of options, once again, just to make sure that your detail views are exactly what you want. Here you can control options that have to do with the boundary, with the view label, everything that you need to make sure that the detail views follow your standards. I believe that you're going to really enjoy working with the new detail and section views inside of AutoCAD 2013. So go ahead and load the software and try all of this out for yourself.